Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 4 with 12. In this Music Theory lesson, we are talking about triads and chords. Triads or chord. A triad is a kind of a chord. All triads are chords, but not all chords are triads. Triads. A triad is a chord with only three notes. And is built on that. To make a triad, we take a note, add the note at that higher, and then add another note at that higher again. Here's an example building an A minor triad. Start on A, we say A to C, is that that? Then C to E again is a third. Chords. A chord contains at least two notes. A chord at least contains two notes. It can have three, four, five, or even more. In grade four theory, you'll only normally see chords with three or four notes. Chords with four notes are made by taking a simple triad and adding another note. We can either double up one of the existing notes by writing it in a higher or lower octave. And this is how. Still on A, the A is doubled. You see we have our A here and our A here. E is doubled, we have E and E here. Or we can add a new note into the chord, for example, another third above the highest third of the triad. And this is how we do it. This is a chord of E major plus D. Triads are normally written with the notes as closely together as possible. We use triads when we are talking about music theory to help us to analyze harmony. Chords are written in whichever order they sound best. We use chords in real music, not just in theory exams. When we write down a chord, the lowest note has a significant or rather a special significance. That's the lowest note. The other notes can be written in any other order at all and very close together or with big gaps. Usually in practice there are bigger gaps between the two notes of the chord but not between the higher notes. So the triad of A minor is written with A as the lowest note, then C above, then E above that. So we have A, C, E. A, C, E both in treble and bass clef. But the chord of A minor doubles one of the notes of the triad to make a four note chord. The bass note, which is the lowest note, is A, but all the other notes can be written wherever they sound best. Let's take a look. This is This is how we can do it. A and put other notes together, close together. And A there. Can have A here. And E. And the other two close together. Or we can have this 
13 first three together and have or can have it like this these are gaps primary and secondary trites examples primary trites build on the tonic subdominant and dominant of a major or minor scale secondary trites build on any other degree the subdominant chord is a fifth lower than the tonic chord the subdominant chord is a fifth lower than the tonic chord it is therefore called the subdominant under dominant and this is subdominant chord and this is tonic chord and this is other examples and this one resolves upwards and this is an augmented thread this is diminished thread and it resolves downwards this comes here augmented thread again up diminished down Tonic dominant and subdominant rights. We always need to know what key we are in before we start to work out chords and rights. In this part of the lesson, we are going to look at the chords and rights in E flat major and C minor. Let's start by reminding ourselves of the notes in the scale of E flat major. Don't forget to check the key signature. E flat major. We have three flats, which is B, E, and A. And this is our flats. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat. B, E flat. To build the tonic triad, we start on E flat because it's the tonic. Add the third above and another third above. So we start on E and we go to G. And from G, to B and this is E G and B to build a subdominant right we start on A flat which is a subdominant note in E flat major and do the same thing This is our thread. Threads can also be described using Roman numerals. We simply use the numeral which stands for the degree of the chord. So tonic equals one, subdominant equals four, and dominant equals five. Let's take a look at chords 1, 4, and 5 in C minor next. Here's the scale of C minor. We use the harmonic minor. Don't forget to sharpen the leading note. C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, 
في ناتشرال في تي في فلات اف تي اي فلات في ناتشرال The tonic is C, the subdominant is F, and the dominant is G. Here are the three chords. Tonic on C, subdominant is F, dominant G. How to work out chords and trites? If you are given a chord or trite, and asked to name it, start by checking what key the music is in. Next, jot down the note you would find in chord 1, 4, and 5. And B. Writing out scales will help you. Now look at the chords in the question. Match up the notes in the chord to what you've written down. We have To first, we jot down the notes of the triad in F minor. One is F, A flat, C. Four, B flat, D flat, F. Five, C, E, natural, G. C, E, natural, G. Now look at chord 1, the notes are C, C, G, and E natural, so it's a dominant right. Chord 2 has notes F, C, A, B flat, F, so it's a tonic right. Chord 3 has notes B flat, D flat, F, D flat, so it's a subdominant right. Don't forget to look at the key signature, all occidentals. The notes in both staves if they are joined together and longer notes, usually minims, half notes or semi briefs half notes, which are played earlier in the bar and are still sounding as part of the chord. So an octave. From A to A, A flat to A flat, it's one octave, examples of trites, closed structure, a chord is said to be in a closed structure when the three upper voices lie in such those proximate that no other chord member can be inserted between them. And these are a chord is said to be in an open structure when one or more chord members can be inserted between the three upper voices parts. As you can see, open, it's open, it's open, open, it's open. So we can add Mixed structure. A chord is said to employ mixed structure when a harmony note can be inserted between the soprano and alto, but not between the alto and tenor. Example A. 
Alternatively, if the harmony node can be inserted between the alto and tenor and not between the soprano and alto as in example B, it is also regarded as being a, in a mixed structure. And this is example A and this is example B. So we are saying if a node can be inserted in between and again example B if a node can be inserted between these two. Continuity of tries. The fifth is always doubled. The fifth is always in the base part in second inversion. Usually only the primary tribe may be used in second inversion. Example. One six four. Four six four. Five six four. In major. And this are uh, first inversion. I mean, it's the fifth is always part in the second inversion. This is minor second inversion. C one six four major. It's C E flat G G. G is the base. E flat C. So we said G G is the base. Four six four F A flat C C C in the base F A flat and another C. D in the base and we have D D and G doubling procedure test the above example which we have just completed against the following the nodes of the trait mass comprise FAC F should be in the base part, root position, root is in the base. F must be doubled, consonant primary trait in root position, double the root. There's to be a space between soprano alto as well as between alto tenor for another chord member. The nodes of the trait must comprise FAC. A should be in the base part, first inversion, third in the base. F or C can be doubled, major tried in the first inversion, double the root of it. The three upper parts lie as close as possible to each other. The note of the tried mass comprises FAC. C should be in the base part, second inversion, fifth in the base. C must be doubled, second inversion, doubled. The fifth, there's to be a space of another chord between soprano alto as well as between alto tenor thank you for watching let's meet again next